Chloe's Tuesday. How's everybody doing today? Um, hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, so today's challenge is um, reflect on your previous living situation, or in my case, situations, and how it affected you as a person today. Um, it's kind of an interesting question, and I'm not going to lie, it's not something that I've actually thought about before as making a difference, but I guess it does in some ways. So, just like basic history with me, uh, I lived with my mom, my dad, and my sister until I was about nine or ten, and then my parents got divorced, and then my dad moved out, and then my mom, my sister, and I went and for a year lived in a rental house. We moved out from there and then moved into a house with my Nana, um, my sister, myself, and my mom. We all lived together in that house for several years um, until, um, I would say, until the end of elementary school and then between the summer of the grade 7 and the beginning of high school, grade 8, um, we moved into a new house because um, my mom had met a lovely fella who became my stepdad. So we lived there for quite a while and then of course having an older sister, the older sister moved out and did her own thing and I actually, um, we kind of replaced her with my stepbrother. My stepbrother moved in after she moved out and then after a while we decided that it was time to maybe uh, downsize so my Nana went and got her own place again and which was kind of sad because I'd lived with her since I was like 11 and so we're talking about seven years basically because I was 18 when we moved into the place that we are living in now um, so that would have a big effect I guess because it was really nice to live with my grandmother for so long and then um, so we moved into the place we're living in now and the only change since then is um, my stepbrother has since moved out a little while ago on doing his own thing and so it's just now it's just me, my mom, and my stepdad and that's really awesome. So I guess as a person when it comes to just like changing living arrangements and stuff like that I think I've gotten really used to having just constant change going on and, and home to me and never really has to be particular house. I never, I had a childhood house, but I think having left it so early where a lot of people would, um, grow up in their childhood home, um, and, and only leave it until, say, move out, you know, as adults, you know, I, um, I would say I definitely didn't have that, which I don't think it's a bad thing, because I don't think a lot of people, I think it's getting less and less that that's actually happening. I think the best part about being a young adult is when you make that transition where you do things because there are rules, you have to do them, and you transition from that to more, you just do things because it's courteous for the other people. Like I also often joke that um, my parents are my roommates kind of thing and we all just kind of work together. I think that would have been, that was a really important change that has happened since moving into the place I am now. Barbara, we didn't see you yesterday, um, well, I saw you yesterday because <laughs> I was hanging out with you guys, and I'm sorry if my invasion of your home contributed to you not getting your homework done and therefore not doing your video, so, sorry. <laughs> I almost think I should get a punishment now <laughs> because I feel like it's my fault. I saw Paula yesterday, Paul's doing good, I think. Paul wasn't feeling too well, but hope Paul, hopefully Paul is feeling better. And yes, we saw Andrew. Um, good impersonation. Saying um a lot is a really good way to impersonate me. Though I'm not that soft-spoken, I don't think. Um, Cass, I never laughed so hard before your video. Oh, I laughed so hard. That was fantastic. And it was a dead-on impersonation of Paul, I think. And I think that was fabuloso. Fantastico. So, um, I hope everyone is doing lovely. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling. And I hope everyone has a good week. Maybe see Paul tomorrow. Love you all. Mwah.